Hello little ones, are you ready for this activity? I'm sure you are. Today, I'm going to invite you to explore the environmental print. We're going to use all this print that you see on the table to review our alphabet letters, numbers, colors, shapes, etc. Um, the environmental print comes in different sizes. That's why we're going to use some large labels like this one. But also we're going to use some uh, small labels like this one. Let's go pick one of the labels to start our activity. I'm going to use this label in here. And let me ask you, can you describe what do you see on this label? Do you recognize some of the letters? Some of the colors? Some of the numbers? Do we have numbers in this label? Okay, let's go start by reading the label. And we read the label the same way we read books. Baby wipes, ultra soft. B is for baby, b, b, baby. W is for wipes, w, w, wipes. U is for ultra, a, uh, a, uh, ultra. S is for soft, s, s, soft. Great. What are the numbers that you see on this label here on the bottom? This number is the number, which one? Nine. This is the number nine. How about this one in here? This is the number zero. How much is zero? Do you know? Nothing. It means nothing. How about the next number? Another number zero. When we see these numbers like this together, and of course, the number nine at the beginning, it means that this is the number 900. And it's letting us know that in this, in this box, it was 900 wipes. <gasps> That's a lot, a lot of wipes in this box. Do you, well, Why do we use white wipes for? Do you use wipes? For what? And also we have another numbers right here. We see again the number nine and another number nine. So this number, it means that is 99, 99, this is the number. How about the colors on this label? Right here, I can see like a sky on top of the baby, right? But here, close to the baby, I can see the some grass on um, green color. Here on the bottom, we see again the color green, a little bit darker, right, than the one close to the to the baby. This green is lighter than the one is in the bottom, the green on the bottom. Okay, see how many things it help us to, to see, to review, that's why these labels are very helpful. I'm going to use another label. For example, let me use this one 
one in here. This um, label is, it was the box of one of our games that we use in the classroom. The Unifix Cubes. What do you see here? A lot of cubes, right? In different colors. Look at how many. Let's go talk about how many cubes it was in this box. This is the number five, zero, zero. So how many cubes in here? 500. Another big quantity, huh? Uh, another big number, 500. What do we use th these cubes for? We use these cubes to count, to make patterns, to talk about colors, right? And let's go see what are the colors that we see on these cubes. I see the green color, I see the yellow color, this is a red cube, this is an orange cube, a blue, dark blue cube, and light blue cube. And also I see some brown cubes right here. So different colors. And, and, um, and this uh, label. Do you recognize some of these letters? Does your name have some of these letters? Think about it. Check, check. And I'm gonna pick another label <clears throat> to talk about it. <clears throat> I have this one. What product is represented by this label? Do you know? What kind of product? Guess. Did you guess already? This is, let's go read the label. <laughs> Cinnamon, toast, Crunch. Uh-oh. This is a cereal box, right? And I want you to notice how they use different colors to write the this um, cereal name. They use purple, blue, red and green. How about the letters here on the on the top? Let's go read them. Family size. What that means? That is a big size. That you're buying enough cereal for the whole family, right? Yes, that's what it means. And also I want you to pay attention that they're using some square faces on the label. And look at the faces. Uh, they use different expressions, like this one. Whoa, look at this little square face. It looks like a crazy face with a lot of energy, right? How about this one? This one, uh, it is a happy face, happy expression. And this one is saying like, mmm, really good, really good. But you know what? We also have to pay attention on the information. Labels gave us a lot of info information about the, the product that is inside. These little numbers and letters is letting us know that this cereal has a lot of sugar. So 
is not good for our bladders. It's not very healthy. Actually, it's not healthy at all. So it's not a good cereal to buy and to eat. We need to look for, for cereal with less sugar, more healthy, right? Thank you. Thank you for, for paying attention on that. Okay, so I have, look at this. I have this box that I cut it in a shape. What shape is this one? It is a heart, right? And I cut it from the another cereal box. This is what kind of cereal? Can you see it? Cheerios, Cheerios. What one letter is missing out of the word Cheerios? What is that letter? Can you let me know? The letter, the last letter, the letter at the end is missing and it is the letter S, S, Cheerio. I cut out the letter S. Okay. Um, I want you also, uh, I'm going to share with you this uh, label that it is the Sudoku game. And can you tell me, what do you think is this game about? What do you see that might tell you? Numbers, right? Did you notice that has a lot of numbers? Let's go review some of them. This is our number nine. I can see the number four, the number seven, the number eight, the number six, the number three, the number one, the number two. So the Sudoku game, it is about numbers. Great. Okay. And last label that I'm going to read to you is this one. This is a label in Spanish that it says La Mixteca. What is that? La Mixteca? It is a Mexican store. And also, it is, we can read, las mejores carnes preparadas. What that means? That they have the best prepared meat to cook and, of course, to eat. This is another label. And the little one, the small one, it is a disposable face mask. Also, it's letting us know that this box, it has 50 pieces inside. This is the label. Okay? Um, I want to invite you, encourage you to keep practicing. Use uh, the boxes that you have already at home. Ask the grown-ups to cut them out when the boxes are empty, they can cut them out for you, and then you use them. You use them uh, to practice your reading, your, your numbers, your colors, and of course, your, your letters, right? Look for the letters on your name on the labels and point it to them and share, share with your, with your family members. That's a great way to learn and to keep busy and keep learning and, and exercise to your brain, right? Okay, uh, thank you for your attention. My pleasure to share this activity with you. Remember, um, safety first, so stay safe, right? Do your part.
Thank you. Bye-bye.